Understanding Off the Air, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of English phrases, focusing on the expression off the air. This phrase is widely used in various contexts, and understanding its nuances can really enhance your English skills. Let's get started. In this section, we explore the origins of off the air. Originally, this phrase was used in the broadcasting industry. It refers to a time when a radio or television station is not transmitting a signal. Think of it as a TV channel being temporarily inactive. It's important to understand this literal meaning, as it forms the basis for other usages. Now, let's look at how off the air is used figuratively in everyday language. When someone says a conversation or topic is off the air, they mean it's no longer being discussed. It's similar to saying, let's not talk about this anymore. This usage is quite common in informal, casual conversations. To give you a better grasp, here are some example sentences using off the air. One, after the controversy, the show went off the air. Two, let's keep that discussion off the air for now. It's not relevant to our current meeting. Three, I heard their podcast went off the air due to lack of funding. In this section, we'll address some common confusions. Don't mix up off the air with phrases like on the air, which means currently broadcasting or airing one's views, which means openly expressing opinions. Understanding these differences is key to using off the air correctly. That's a wrap on off the air. Remember, phrases can have literal and figurative meanings, and context is always crucial. We hope this video has been enlightening and adds value to your English learning journey. Stay tuned for more insightful content, and keep practicing your English.